crafty friends, Anat Kessler here with Saturday Mixed Travaganza and today I'm altering 10 more playing cards with mixed media techniques. This is part 2 of the altered mixed media card series. So let's start with the first card. I'm going to use acrylic paints for this card and I just want to make this pink a little bit brighter so I'm mixing it with white acrylic paint and it's still a little bit too dark for me so I'm just going to add a little bit more white acrylic paint now I'm quite happy with this color so I'm just going to cover the card with this very light pink and after this is dry of course dry it with your heat tool I am gonna stencil this with some teal and again I'm going to create a very pale teal by mixing it with some white paint wanna make sure that it's not too dark so I'm just adding a little tiny drop of teal okay I think that's good so I'm mixing it with my brush but I'm gonna stencil it with a foam brushes are not a good idea when it comes to stenciling just need to load your foam with le with very little paint so it won't bleed and I am going to stencil only part of each circle because I don't want the entire circle or the entire shape it's not even a circle because it's a small card but I'm just gonna stencil around the borders of each of the circles so it's gonna look something like this only part of the circle is showing so this is what I wanted and of course I'm going to stamp it once it's completely dry so I'm going to start with stamping it with a background stamp which is basically I have a grid pattern here and oops this has fallen I don't even need that acrylic block and then on top of this stamp I'm going to use this stamp and it's hard to see but there is also a little quote there that says mother is a verb not a noun so it's basically a stamp of a woman slash mother and I'm going to stamp that on and then I'm just gonna go in with my black pen to color some of the some parts of the image because I want the stamp to pop a little bit more so I'm just going over some parts with my black pen just to make sure that it's visible enough I'm gonna go over some lines too and the hair okay now it's visible enough and I'm just gonna add a little bit of color to her dress or basically I think it's an apron a little bit of green and I'm just gonna add a cute border on the side just to add a something extra to, to the card just squares nothing fancy or complicated you can do hearts you can do circles whatever you feel like it and I'm using the leftover paint on my sponge on just a plain piece of white paper to create a nice background for the word I want to add to the card so I'm going to use letter stickers to spell the word strength and this this um, series of altering 52 playing cards is all about uh, different me mixed media techniques that I'm using on each card and a different word that I'm using or I'm adding to each card 
and I've created a list of 52 words that mean something to me, inspire me, empower me, and one of them is strength, of course. So I'm altering 52 cards with 52 different words and 52 different mixed media techniques. So this is a really cool series that you want to watch. You don't want to miss that. So we started with four last time and this is another four. And the entire, the entire series on the VIP Room Creative Club this is the first card. Isn't that cool? So the entire series is on the VIP Room Creative Club and you have the link under the video to join it anytime that you want. So for the next card I'm going to use a mask. But this mask is a mask that I've created just by cutting a piece of plain white paper around a stamp that I'm going to use later. This is a globe stamp. And I'm going to place that piece of paper on the card and use some distress inks to add color to the background while keeping the uh, cut piece of paper that I have on the card. So what I'll get is basically a white space where the mask was. And this is basically what masking is, is creating a white space with a shape or a pattern or something like that. So you can see the white space that I have here on the card and I'm going to stamp the globe inside that white space. So I'm just going to get some ink and then stamp my globe on the card and you pr you're probably guessing what that word, what the empowering word or inspiring word is going to be for this card, right? You didn't guess? Well, that's going to be journey. So I'm using some distress markers to color my globe. Really love distress markers. They're really so much fun to work with. They're water-based. They can blend really nice. And it's really fun to work with. So I'm coloring the ocean and then I'm going to color the continents with two types of green and then you can see how pretty they blend together. So this is the darker color and this is the lighter color and they simply blend together. It's like watercolors. It's amazing. So just cleaning the tip a little bit. Okay, so this is South America all colored. And I'm just using my black pen to color the other parts of the globe, or at least part of the parts, because I don't want it to be too black. So once that's dry, I want to add two clouds, just the lines of two clouds and then I cut a little image of a plane from a piece of scrap paper that I had and I'm going to use another scrap piece of paper to add the banner that the plane is going to be carrying and on this banner I'm going to write the word journey which I already told you that is going to be the word on this card and like I've explained before, you can join the VIP room, which is a monthly creative club with lots of inspiration, video tutorials, giveaways, tips and inspiration, guest designers. There's a lot going on in there. You can join it at any time that you want and you can have a workshop grade video tutorials to a month. So it's like having two classes every month. So it's really, really a good deal. So I have the word journey on and I'm just going to add a little bit of color with my blender around the globe and a little bit on the globe just to smear the color a little bit. I like that look. 
The next car we're going to do is with some gelatos. We're going to blend some gelatos and see the effect that we can get from that. It's a really cool effect. You need to use a water brush or just a plain brush that you wet with water. And then you spread the gelatos around and blend them together. So if you want to watch the entire series of the 52 mixed media altered cards, you need to join the VIP room and everything is there, all the techniques and all the cards. So I've blended the first layers. Always good to use your fingers too, right? So I'm just blending it a little bit more and if at some point you need to dry the card because this the blending becomes too uh, watery and you need to dry the card and then add another layer of gelatos and then blend it again and then you work layer on layer like that and then you get the perfect blend so I'm just drying this and adding a little bit more paint and then blending it again with my water brush. So when you build the layers one on top of the other, then you get a really cool blend of the gelatos. And you get that gradual effect that you want when you blend the colors. So you just repeat the process of drying and blending as many times as you want until you are happy with the way the card looks and then once of course you need to dry everything just gonna add a little bit of red and then I think I'm happy with the way the card looks and before you stamp it we're gonna stamp the word uh, just make sure that it's completely dry so the word for this card is sunshine which you probably guessed and I've arranged a little uh, letter stamps in a in an arch or half a circle. Looks like the sun, right? And it says sunshine. And what I'm gonna do is use my yellow gelato to add little rays of sunshine to the card. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of Inca gold for some shimmer. So I'm using two shades of gold. You have two different, you have a few colors for the gold. You have all kinds of gold. I didn't even know that. It's really cool. You have vintage gold and plain gold and bright gold and all kinds of golds in the Inca gold series. So that was the second card. And for our third card, I'm going to do a really cool um, drippage effect that I really really like and I'm um, going to use two different acrylic paint colors and just gonna blend them or mix them with water and when they are fluid enough, I'm going to just add, use the brush to pick up the color, the paint, and then apply it to the edge of my card and let it drip. Now the fun part of this technique is that you never know where the drops are going to go. So it's kind of unexpected, but it's also the fun part of the entire process. So you just let it drip and see where it goes. I want to dry it a little bit. It's very, very fluid, so it will take a long time to dry it completely, but I just want to dry it a little bit so when I add the other paint, the blue paint, the orange paint will not drip and will stay the way it was. 
So I'm just drawing it a little bit just to set it and stop it from moving on the card. This enables me to just add another type or another paint and then you see the orange is not moving. Only the blue paint is moving. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to work in layers. So this will be the first layer of the dripping. And then once that I'm going to dry it a little bit and then I'm going to keep on adding more and more uh, drippage. And you want to um, try and like I said dry it a little bit in between uh, because in between the times that you let it drip because otherwise if you blend the colors too much they're going to be mud. So if you set the color and it's not blending with the other color then it's better because then you can get two separate distinct colors the orange and the blue. So I'm going to let it drip from another direction as well just to make it a little bit more interesting and don't forget to dry in between and set the color and I'm going to let it drip from the other side too. This is really fun. I really like the fact that I have no idea where, where the paint's going to go and it's a good exercise in letting go. Okay, a little bit more, letting it drip. You need enough paint and you need it to be fluid enough in order to create that drippage effect. So let's clean all this mess. Let's dry it first. Before we clean, let's try one more from this side. And then we'll be able to clean everything and continue. Um, this card is going to be with the word forward and again I remind you if you want to watch all 52 cards how to alter them with different mixed media techniques then you can join the VIP room at any time. There's a link under this video how to join the Saturday Mix Travaganza VIP room creative club and you can join at any time. So I'm drawing uh, some arrows with my black pen. Moving forward, the arrows give the car that sense of direction that goes well with the word forward. And just going to write the word forward on a piece of tissue paper that I have. Altering mixed media cards is a very good way of using all kinds of leftovers and scraps that you have because it's a small surface and you need small pieces of paper or stickers or whatever and you can just um, use whatever leftovers you have in your stash. So I'm writing the word forward with my black pen. If you don't like your handwriting, by the way, you can you know, use stickers or stamps. So I'm just cutting out the tissue paper and I'm going to glue it down with some gel medium. Like this and I'm just going to add a little bit of color to the card with some artist pens, Faber-Castell artist pens. Just a little bit of yellow and brighter yellow and maybe some orange or something I don't know let's see what goes well a little bit of orange too just to add a little bit more color So I really like how this one turns out. All the drippage look like a map of streets and roads, right? So here are our, f our four cards that we've altered today. I really like how they turned out. I hope you like them too. 
and if you want to watch all 52 cards join the VIP room and thank you very much for joining me and check out my website anatkessler.com and subscribe to my video YouTube channel if you haven't done so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time